up, nerds? It's Dan, the Lonely Havoc, and I'm going to be unboxing my paint from Instar Paint. I'm very excited about this one, especially the Havoc Pink, which they say they named after yours truly. So let's check this stuff out. Alright, I got my box. Let me uh, see if I can pop this open without causing too much harm to myself or anyone else. God. Okay, it's definitely safely in there. Okay, sweet. All right. We got the Instar Paint card. Ooh, it's got a uh, paint name. You got some information so you can make a uh, recipe for your actual paint jobs. Let me try to do that without a glare. Sweet. And then I only ordered a couple of paints because I just wanted to get a feel for them. Here is Havoc Pink. That's right. Pretty excited about that. And I also got Arctic Green, which is kind of a uh, very light green, very, very light. Uh, crimson Red. And then I got some bre bre uh, come on, I can't talk. Brown Green Flip, which is like a color shifting. So, can you hear that? got something in there to help you shake it which is awesome do they all have it no just the flippy ones but that makes sense and then I have green gold flip which also has a shaker in there which is very handy very cool in star paint having a shaker is a good idea so I'm gonna shake some of these up and then we'll take a look at the consistency all right, so I spent about five minutes shaking these paints around, and now my arm is really tired. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these paints. So I like the dropper. Um, it's got a nice narrow tip on it, and that's fun. It allows you to squeeze out just a tiny, tiny little bit. That's looking nice so far. So you know what I got over here? I've got a Plague Marine. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, Havoc Pink on this Plague Marine because that seems like a, a good thing to do. A little bit of water. Always kind of thin everything, but let's see. Um, he's got like a little tentacle sticking out. So I'm gonna paint this tentacle. Ooh. And it goes on nice and smooth. I like it. This brush is shit. What am I doing with this thing? Citadel base brush. Maybe I just use it too much. Mm-hmm. That's pink. That is very pink. Very nice. Went on pretty smooth as well. Can't complain about that. Alright, let's take a look at this Arctic Green. It's kind of like a like a mint green color, I think. Green. Now it looks really same kind of tip. I don't think I shook this one enough. I have to come back to this one maybe. I can kind of tell that the pigment and the uh, liquid itself are a little separated, but in Instar's defense, this was sitting on my table for quite some time and it went through the post all the way from the UK here to Illinois. So that kind of thing happens. You get paint, sometimes it separates. My wife actually said, maybe I should start doing unboxing videos because I get so many boxes, which might have been her way of just saying, I get too many boxes. Do you know what? That's life in the big house. So I'm going to paint his robe with this. See how it goes on. Is it a robe? Is it a cloak? Is it a bed sheet? Is it a towel wrapped around his neck and he's pretending like he's a superhero? I don't know, but we're painting it with arctic green and so far the color is very subtle and I think you'll have to do a few coats of this for it to show and also like I said it's not exactly mixed incredibly well but as far as consistency goes it feels nice and smooth actually very smooth I'll try to get a nice even coat of that let it dry 
and then I'll come back. So you can't really see the color with this because I'll have to do a number of coats. And I want to go back and shake it up some more just to make sure all the pigment's mixed in. But uh, yeah, not too shabby. I kind of had a feeling that this white color would be sort of hard to um, show off. But hey, whatever. I think it looks good. Big fan of different types of reds. And this one seems like it's a pretty deep red. Also, what I like about these caps is they're almost like they're childproof. It's got the little, uh, you have to push in and then, oh shit, push in and then turn. I squeezed it when I opened it. You gotta push in and then turn to open it. So, that's nice too. That's a very nice feature. And just the paint bottle itself. It's still oozing. That's a good looking red, by the way. Uh, what should I paint red on this guy? Let's paint his front loincloth red. Because why not? And, you know, I'm going over this Games Workshop Death Guard green color. So I know that I'm sort of making the color, uh, the Instar paint color, drab from the start because it's going over such a dull color. But my test right now is really more about the consistency and how smooth the paint goes on and how even the color is, even with a single light coat which so far it is working really well and I like it a lot I like this red yeah even for like a quick single coat it's nice and even and my heater kicked on because it is uh, cold outside so if you hear a weird background noise that's what's going down my heater because I'm trying to stay warm so there's red very nice. I need to paint something else red because I squeeze out a lot of red paint. <laughs> I don't want to waste it all. So this is a brown green flip. And like I mentioned before, this has some sort of mixing device inside of it. I really like that. Along with the, the safety cap. You got the little ones around. You don't want them getting in your paint and putting it everywhere and or eating it which I'm sure this is all non-toxic. Uh, yeah, it says right there. Um, that's just a good thing. The kids can't get it off by just twisting it. Yeah, give it a little push. And I did the same thing as last time where I squeezed the bottle. So, <laughs> one day I'll learn. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. I hope this is coming through on video. Let me see if I can move the camera down just a little bit here. But that flip looks really cool. It's a looks like a brown base with green fleck in it, and I think that would be a really good for a shoulder pad. So let's paint his shoulder pad. That is really cool. Okay, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And also the most important part is it's going on nice and smooth as well. Oh yeah, that's cool. That is very cool. And most importantly, it is different. Yeah, that's neat. I don't know how the light is here. Let me get some light. Yeah, that's really cool. So it's got a, a brown base, and then it's got a nice green shimmer to it. And it went on nice and smooth. I want to paint his chest with it. We'll paint a larger piece. Well now I just want to paint the whole damn model with this same color because it's really fucking sweet. Pardon my potty mouth. Yeah, that's really neat. That's certainly different I think if you had um, your armor painted like this and you had a couple of models that had that same look, that would definitely catch people's eye. Because you can't quite put your finger on what's happening there. Whenever you turn it around in the light, you see these different sparkles of green in there. Really cool. Well, that makes me even more excited for the green gold. So let's try the green gold here. 
Gold. So looks like a green base with gold fleck. I'm gonna try not to squeeze the pot so hard when I open it. There we go. So it's not oozing out like I did the last couple of times. And oh, that's pretty. That is really nice. So looks like a green base color with gold flecks in it. That's really neat. So let's paint the other shoulder pad with green gold and it looks even better on the model. So the consistency of these are a bit thin so a little bit seems like it's going to be going a long way. And that's probably because those flecks make the paint pretty thick. I imagine it's a bit of a balancing act getting the right mix of the base color to the gl uh, excuse me, glitter Okay, that looks really cool too. All right, so from where I'm standing, I am probably going to get more of these color flippy Instar paint. That's really cool. It's still a bit wet right now, so maybe that's adding to the gloss factor of it, but I think even when it dries, it's going to still have that same really bright glossy finish. That's cool. I'd be interested in putting a wash on that and kind of seeing what it looks like. You know what? I'm just going to paint his helmet. It's happening. That's what we're doing, buddy. Your helmet's getting golden green. That's cool. I could definitely see this going a long way for like, like a fantasy type setting, like, like an enchanted sort of item or something like that. And a cool sword, maybe. Like a shield. Or fuck, just do your whole army with, like, color flip. I think I'm going to try this, put washing, uh, put a wash on it, kind of see what it looks like. Because um, I think it'll probably make the shiny parts look shinier. And give it, like, some contrast. So I'm excited to put a wash on his helmet and his shoulder pad and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's really cool. So, Instar Paints, very cool. I am a huge fan of the flip colors. Um, they're just exciting because uh, I like things that are different. And you know, whenever you have a different sort of paint, it kind of inspires you to paint something different. Like I already started thinking about what can I put these different colors on, and uh, kind of make them stand out. Or you know, it's sort of like a special color, and you use it sparingly for something that you know you need to stand out in your army. Or maybe you just use it across the entire army and have something that people see uh, from tables away and it draws them in. I really like these color flips. Um, the consistency seems to be just perfect. I mean, it went on super easy. It wasn't difficult to work with at all. Uh, sometimes I worry with the things that have the uh, flex of the metallics in them that they can be kind of thick. But um, these were great. I mean, this went on so smooth. And then, you know, this guy's already dried up and he just he looks fantastic. I mean, it's just a cool looking paint. Um, Havoc Pink. I gotta love the Havoc Pink. The Havoc Pink. You gotta go get some Havoc Pink. If you don't have Havoc Pink, you're not cool. And tell them I said that. So hopefully Instar Paint sees an influx of orders for Havoc Pink, because it's the best color. And uh, that just that went on really smooth as well. The uh, Arctic Green was very, very subtle. Um, I can see the green here on camera. It probably didn't show up so well. But I mean, I, I kind of like that there's a subtle sort of green color that you can use. Um, it just I'm not sure what I would use it for just yet, but uh, never hurts to have more white. And uh, Crimson Red. Crimson Red is great. Uh, that went on really smooth as well. Um, just a nice deep red. I squeezed out quite a bit of it. So I'm going to go find something else red to paint before it dries up. Uh, overall, I, I think these paints are awesome. These are great paints. Um, I really like the container that's in. Um, you know, the Citadel pots can be kind of a pain in the ass because stuff gets into the corners and crevices so dropper bottles for things like uh, Vallejo is is way better but these seem like they take it a step further with a little uh, suppository tip or whatever that's it <laughs> that is right there and plus it's got the um, childproof cap on there so that's a big deal I mean sometimes you know folks that have kids and things sitting around I mean that could be a nightmare if your kid gets into your paint and just pulls the top off and squeezes it all over the place so this kind of that's a you know stops them hopefully from doing that 
uh, stops them from taking your pills and also getting into your paint. So Instar Paint, I really like them. I look forward to buying more and I definitely think you should try them out because they have some cool colors and if anything these flip colors are huge, worth it, definitely. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe. Find me on Twitter at the Lonely Havocs. Say hi, and I'll see everyone later.